Hey there, first time voters. This election is not about choosing between a donkey or an elephant. It's about your wallet, your future, and your voice. Are you feeling the pinch right now? You're not alone. Groceries have skyrocketed by over 40%, while gas and housing costs are through the roof and unaffordable, along with insurance that's draining your pocket while your paycheck is barely moving. It's frustrating, it's unfair, and it's affecting us all. Elections have real consequences. Many people feel powerless and think their vote doesn't matter, so they just sit it out. But here's the truth. You are already involved whether you realize it or not. Every time you struggle to pay that bill, every time you worry about your financial future, you're feeling the impact of a political decision. Now, if you're a first-time voter, navigating through political jargon and understanding what candidates stand for can feel overwhelming. But this is your chance to take control and make a choice that benefits you. Today, we'll break down the differences between the Democrats and the Republicans on issues that hit closest to home, your money and your future. This election year has been a roller coaster, an assassination attempt, a candidate dropping out at the last minute, and so much uncertainty. It's easy to feel disheartened and discouraged, but your vote is more powerful than you think. It's your chance to make a real difference. Let's uncover the truth together and see how you can shape the future. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Adulting Academy. This channel is dedicated to providing informative, practical, and helpful information in an entertaining format to help you live the life you deserve. From career choices, resumes, and interviews to budgeting and politics, our community is here to support you on your adulting journey. Take a minute to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Have you ever wondered why the Democrats are represented by a donkey and the Republicans by an elephant? Well, it's an interesting story that started with a cartoon. The donkey became associated with the Democratic Party during Andrew Jackson's 1828 presidential campaign. His opponents called him a jackass, or a donkey, as an insult. However, Jackson embraced the symbol, using it in his campaign posters. And guess what? The image stuck, and later political cartoonist Thomas Nast popularized the donkey as a symbol for the Democrats in a series of cartoons in Harper's Weekly. Now, the elephant became associated with the Republican Party thanks to another cartoon by Thomas Nass, published in Harper's Weekly in 1874. In the cartoon titled The Third Term Panic, a donkey dressed in a lion skin scared away all the other animals at the zoo. One of the animals, an elephant, was labeled the Republican vote. The image of the elephant as a strong and dignified animal is meant to represent the Republican Party, and it's been used as their symbol ever since. Now, these symbols have endured over time and now are widely recognized representations of the two major political parties in the United States. So with all the noise on the internet, social media, and even the news, how are you supposed to make an informed decision and vote for the person that will best represent you? Well, the first step is to look at their platforms or what they say they stand for. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's start with a Google search of Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party platform. What do they stand for? What are they going to do for you? And in this video, what are they going to do for you financially to lower these record high inflation and these costs that we haven't ever seen before? How can, how can you afford a house? How can you afford groceries? How can you afford to live if you're a first-time voter? Let's see what their party platforms have to say. So the first thing we're going to do, let's do a Google search for Kamala Harris for president. Okay, so you see the very first thing you get is them asking for more of your money. Help elect them to, uh, to win this election. So let's close that. We're looking for their platform. What is she going to do for you? What, what policies is she going to do to lower inflation? What policies are they going to do to make housing more affordable? Okay, so... Here we go. So we got, again, join the campaign. That's where they're going to ask you for money. Uh, there's some store, donate again. Um, that's all we can see so far is, is that. So let's look and see. There's another, They make it easy for you to give money to them, but let's see what else we can find. So we want to see what does she stand for. So meet Kamala. Uh, meet Vice President Kamala uh, again. So there's a lot of talk in here. 
but there's no platform. Uh, again, we, we don't see anything about the platform. So, okay, so we'll, I'm trying to be equal and fair here. So we just looked at Meet Kamala. I uh, didn't see anything. Let's look at Take Action. So again, Take Action. Again, so it, they want you to sign up and probably they want you to give money. Again, knock on doors, how you can help her. But again, there's nothing about what she is going to do to help you in your pocketbook. Nothing at all. Uh, okay, so what else we got here? Let's go back to the homepage and just see if we missed anything. We're trying to find their platform, right? Uh, take action store. Okay, there's donate, donate, uh, FAQs. Maybe that's it. Okay, so here's the FAQs. You think you'd talk about what do they stand for and what's she going to do for us? I don't see anything. It's talking about how to make donations. Again, that's all they're asking. So there's nothing on her website at all that tells you what she will do for you or what she stands for. Nothing at all, which is very important. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's do another search. Let's look at the Democrat Party platform and see if they can tell us what they're going to do. So here's the Democrat website. And let's see what they say. So who we are, where we stand. So here's the party platform. Every four years from across the country, they come to, together to craft our party's platform. So guess what? I don't know if this will show, but I downloaded that, and it's from 2020. There is not a new Democrat Party platform yet in there. So this one was from the last election, and it's still talking about COVID. And keep in mind, this is 92 pages long, trying to tell you what the Democrat Party is going to do for you and how they're going to lower inflation and fix immigration, it's there's nothing there. So I just clicked on the preamble, a whole bunch of talk, 92 pages. Let's go back to the party platform. Uh, protecting Americans and recovering from COVID-19. We're done. We're past that. We're over that. Nothing there. Building a stronger, fairer economy. Okay, maybe that, that has something to do with me. Okay, the economy is not working for the American people. And this is talking about the COVID times when, when they lock down the economy and all that, this is still talking about COVID. Um, there is nothing in here that tells you how they're going to fix the economy, how they're going to fix inflation. You guys saw that uh, uh, the stock market dropped dramatically on fears of a, a pending recession Friday. Uh, that, that affects us financially. Gas prices are record high. Grocery prices are record high. Houses are record high. The prices are not coming down like they should. And again, they're talking about raising wages. Well, that's not going to help you. Uh, the The businesses are just going to pass that along. They're, they're going to make prices even higher if wages go higher. Uh, enacting work family policies. Again, that's increasing the cost of business. Investing in the engines of job creation. So, there's, they're going to install public charging stations. Well, they guess what? That costs government money. That's more taxes. Uh, they're going to upgrade the nation. They're talking about spending money, in, in improving infrastructure. That is spending money, spending your money. Uh, they support the creation of in infrastructure bank. Uh, so again, everything in here is from 2020, and there's nothing talking about today and what affects us today, which are inflation and the cost of everything, housing, food, how, how what are they going to do? What do they stand for anything? You cannot find it in the Democrat Party platform. So now let's take a look at Donald Trump and the Republican platform and see if we can find where where they stand and what, what they're going to do for us. Let's go to Donald Trump's site. So here we go. This is Donald Trump's uh, uh, website, and you can see he's got Agenda 47, because this is for the 47th president of the United States. And you can see he's got 20 goals right here to start with. Uh, and we're going to talk about the one that talks about you and your finances. So you see the very first one talks about sealing the border and stopping the migrant invasion. Uh, deport all those that are here. And you'll see why later in this video about the cost that you're paying for illegal immigrants for their housing and food today. Now, number three, this is what we're talking about. End inflation and make America affordable again. 
That's hit you in your pocketbook. That's what this video is all about. That should matter to you. Make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far. I think inflation largely has to do with the high price of fuel because they limited what we could drill for and produce here in the United States. Fuel prices rose. That affected the prices of everything. So you can see that. Make America the dominant energy producer. We're talking about the economy. We're talking about your pocketbook. Stop outsourcing and the turn the United States into a manufacturing superpower. Again, that's jobs. Larger tax cut for workers and no tax on tips. That affects you guys as first-time voters dramatically because a lot of you may be working in restaurants and they're talking about no tax on your tips. Uh, defend the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and our freedoms. Uh, prevent World War III because there's a lot going on in the world today. Uh, ending the weaponization of government, rebuilding cities, make them clean, safe, and beautiful. Uh, talks about our military. Keep the U.S. dollar as a world reserve currency. That's a whole other video in itself. Uh, protecting Social Security and Medicare benefits. No cuts, uh, no changes to retirement age. Uh, the electric vehicle mandate is going to cost a lot of money, and that's a lot of your money. Cut federal funding for uh, school pun pushing critical race theory. theory. Uh, gender ideology and other things. That's your money that the government's using. Keep men out of women's sports. Uh, deport pro Hamas radicals. Uh, secure our elections, which well, that's a, I'm going to do a video on that coming soon, and unite our country. So let's look at the uh, Republican Party platform real quick. Okay, so we've opened up the, Demo uh, the Republican Party platform, and it's only 16 pages long. So remember, the Democrat Party platform was 92 pages long, and it was from 2020 when we were still in COVID lockdowns and all the problems that happened then. The Republican Party platform is from 2024, so it's current, and it's only 16 pages. So let's take a look and see what we're, we get with this. So again, it's to the forgotten men and women of America. Uh, again, a return to common sense. Again, a little bit of an inter introduction talking about we're in serious decline, uh, and we are. We're, everybody's hurting right now. Um, and, and again, that's what should matter to you. So let's talk about what, what again, what is this? How does the Republican Party influence and how is it going to affect you financially? It's what we're looking at today. So again, you can see these are that Agenda 47 that we just looked at on Trump's main uh, homepage. Again, this is in more detail. So the table of contents, number one, is defeat inflation and quickly bring down all prices. That impacts you and it should matter to you seal the border and stop the migrant invasion i'll show you later how much that's costing you every day in just a couple of cities build the greatest economy in history when we have a thriving economy with lots of jobs that's good for you not government jobs but manufacturing jobs tech jobs that is good for you protect american wa uh, workers and farmers from unfair trade protect our seniors Cultivate great schools, uh, common sense to our government, uh, government of, by, and for the people, and return to peace through strength. So let's just go down a little bit. You can see the very first one, and I encourage you to go to these websites and take a look for yourself. I can't spend the whole time um, <clears throat> going into detail on this. There's just too much to cover. You can go to the Democrat Party platform and read that in detail. And you can look for yourself at the Republican Party platform. But again, number one, defeat inflation and bring down prices. How are they going to do that? The first one is unleash American energy. If we have, it's all about supply and demand as the price is gas. If we have more gas, then there's going to be more supply and, and prices will go down across the board. Rain in wasteful federal spending. I'll share you some examples again with that later about how the government is wasting your money are costly and burdensome regulations. Again, that those regulations are passed on from corporations to you directly. And again, when they, re, they reduced regulations in Trump's first administration, it saved Americans $11,000 uh, per, per household. Stop illegal immigration. High, high cost of, they're, they're, they're hurting education, they're hurting housing, and they're hurting healthcare from the cost to take care of these people that are not paying taxes and they're here illegally. Restore peace through strength. Again, our strong military. Again, chapter two talks about sealing the border, 
uh, you can read it yourself. Build the greatest economy. How do you build the greatest economy? They're telling you how they're going to do it. Cut regulations, the tax cuts, make those permanent, no tax on tips, fair trade deals, low cost energy, not high cost battery or electric energy, a champion innovation, look for new things and new ways of doing things. Uh, bring back the American dream and make it affordable again for families and young people, everyone. Again, this is talking to you. Housing affordability. People can't afford their rent. People can't afford to get a house. And here they are. This is They're addressing it. Housing affordability. How are they going to do that? Reducing mortgage rates. Interest rates four years ago were as under 3%. You could get a, a loan for 2.5%. Nowadays, it's six to seven or higher, and it makes housing out of reach for a new house, not to mention the rent problems. Accessible higher education, reduce the cost of higher education, affordable health care, lower everyday cost. Uh, again, when you reduce regulatory burden, lower energy cost, and promote economic policies that drive down the cost of living, prices for everyday goods and services will go down. Again, and then we go to trade. Again, so much here. So I want you to compare and contrast. Again, compare and contrast the Democrat platform, 92 pages from 2020. That doesn't say anything. Kamala Harris's platform is completely missing or the Republican Party platform. Here it is. It talks about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Don't listen to the news. Don't listen to TikTok. It's right here for all of us to read and all of us to study. This is the thing that's going to impact you financially and make a difference for you in the future. To make an informed decision, you need to know the facts. Don't rely on what TikTok tells you, some celebrity, or even worse, the news. Look at their platforms and see what they will do for you as president. Let's look at the key different differences. The defining elements of the Democrat Party and the Republican Party are clear especially in economic areas like taxation and government spending. Democrats advocate for a big government, government control, and a lot of government programs. They propose ideas like erasing student loans, which sounds good at first, but remember this means using tax money, so we are all paying for it. Now, Republicans, they support, support a smaller government giving you more power and control over your life and letting you keep more of your money. Everything has a cost. Do you want to pay less in taxes? The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 that was initiated by Donald Trump is about to expire in 2025. Since 2018, almost all Americans have paid less in taxes. If these cuts expire, we'll see a huge impact. Take a look at this table. Our tax system is already progressive. Low-income earners don't pay that much while high-income earners pay a lot more, and they always have. In addition to tax cuts, other benefits like a doubled standard deduction and child tax credits are at stake. Those will hit you in your pocketbook, and that's coming up next year. Big government depends on tax revenue. Do you want less government, regulations, and fewer government agencies and programs? Or do you want to keep paying higher and higher prices for everything? Government waste is abundant. Illegal immigration is a topic all on its own, and I'll do a video about that soon. But look at how much we're spending on illegals coming into our country right now. All the while, we have homeless veterans and American citizens living on the streets with no assistance. And you may be struggling to put a roof over your head and food on your own table. Chicago estimates illegal immigrants are costing the city over $7,000 per person per month for food, housing, and other services. Both New York and Chicago are providing migrant families with over $1,400 per month for food assistance in addition to that housing assistance. And guess what? You are paying for that. They are not paying taxes. They're taking your money, and that should get your attention. This is just one example how the government is wasting your money and making you pay for it. We left $28 million worth of equipment in Afghanistan. The federal government has made 
$247 billion in improper payments in just 2022 for fraud and, and the wrong people. There is $1.7 billion spent in maintenance and security for unused government buildings. We pay $1.8 billion for farmers that don't even farm. Medicare fraud and errors cost $60 billion every year. Remember, Democrats are for big government and programs, while Republicans are for smaller government and less taxes. And this is why we need a businessman, not a politician, to clean up all this waste of your money. Now, this is just even a small look at all the ways the government takes your money and wastes it. Are you better off financially than you were four years ago? Or if you're just getting started, do you think it was easier to make a living four years ago? Thanks for joining us at the Adulting Academy. Remember, your vote is powerful and it directly affects your future. From skyrocketing grocery bills to stagnant paychecks, the choices you make at the ballot have real consequences, whether you vote or you don't. Today, we broke down some of the key differences between the Democrat and Republican Party when it comes to your money. Now, it's crucial to look beyond the noise of social media and celebrity opinions and dive into the actual platforms of the candidates. Understand what they stand for and how their policies will impact your wallet. Whether you lean towards the big government programs or you prefer lower taxes and smaller government, your informed decision is what counts. The stakes are high and your vote can make a difference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow first-time voters. And don't forget to subscribe to the Adulting Academy for more practical information and entertaining content to help you navigate your adulting journey. Stay tuned for more videos about voting. We'll look at immigration. We'll look at all the key issues and look at their platform line by line to see what they really stand for, not what someone's telling you or somebody's talking points that, that aren't even true. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.